know you probably got this question before. I'm going to ask it anyway. If there's any other character you could have played, what, which one would it be? Oh, sorry. No. Okay. What about you? Because you know everyone's going to say you, so outside of the I would play Spike. Not helping. Clem. Really? Okay. No need to Clem's got all the girls. Clem, all of the actresses who sit on James's lap play with his ears all day. We're like, what's wrong with me, man? Oh, they didn't play with their ears? No. They just went with yeah, Clem. When Clem was on, we got nothing. <laughs> No one ever says glory. I mean, come on. She was great. Ben was better. Because none of us know we can do it as good a job as you. James, you're so sweet. Isn't he so sweet, guys? Um, I would play Buffy. I mean, come on. It's the lead of the show. <laughs> you know, that's who I would play. Wouldn't swap. I love Drew. Drew is just such a deliciously Perfection. complex, <laughs> fucked up character. <laughs> I just did a panel actually with Ron Perlman for our other pro project and he spent the first 45 minutes swearing and everything he was saying and then this like five-year-old came up to the mic for questions no. and he looked so apoplectic so I'm channeling Ron, sorry. <laughs> Anyone else before we move on? Any other crypto? I was going to say Don. <laughs> It's okay, Emma. Jokes are better when explained. I'm a firm believer in that. Well, let's get um, some. Oh, right. No, 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 no. That's your turn. No, no, it's fine. No, it's not. You have to speak now. It's okay. Uh, when I was younger, I would have wanted to have played Spike, even though I don't have the cheekbones for it. Uh, but now that I am older, uh, I want to play Childs. Hashtag James Leary for Giants. <laughs> Who would do a hashtag to do a reboot for Buffy the Vampire Slayer? Yeah. Are you trying to start a fight in here? I am. Okay. <laughs> Just a little bit. But I would oh, is like that? It. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. They're doing it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They are doing it. Yeah. Just say it. It's a fan. It's a fan. You know what that means? Yeah. We are old. No. You are perfect for your age, so that's all that matters. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying, okay? <laughs> so, can you, can you say anything, anything going on about, you know, about this reboot, everything? Is there anything that's put together? Anyone? Nothing. It's just talk. It's not going to be. Talk. Talk. The it's thing is, it's not an actual reboot. Correct. That's what I want to Correct. That's It's what not a new talk. Buffy. Universe. It's not a new Spike. It's a new Slayer for a new Thank generation. You which is what we promised you every time that you watch the show. So it's going to be a new Slayer and a new cast of characters. Joss is involved. The showrunner, I wish I could remember her name, uh, is a very successful writer-producer uh, already, but she grew up with Buffy. Buffy is what got her wanting to write in the first place. So she's, uh, it's in her DNA. And I've, I've got high hopes. I'm glad you said that. Did you guys want to say I just, I love that she's a woman of color, and yes. something that I feel like we can do better with this time around is to have a very diverse cast. Yeah. All right, come on, let's bring some audience questions. We're going to start over here on my left to your right. Go ahead, ma'am, you have a question? Um, I wanted to ask, um, of your characters, what personality trait did you find the most compelling? Of any of them? Any of them. All of them. Well, I'll just start. I, Glory was very truthful. She, she didn't lie, and I think that that is an honorable quality. <laughs> what, what, and it's most, what we found most interesting or most compelling, what was the question? Uh, the personality trait that we found that you personally probably felt 
was the most compelling about that character? Um, I would say, I zoned out there a little bit, sorry, but, um, Clem, it would be his kindness. He was always willing to help. For Drew, I would say... He set him free. Uh, I would say uh, Drew's capacity to love, because I think the, the sort of 200-year epic love affair, was, was, I think that quality was probably... Yeah, along with the visions were pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, I, I, I would have to be with you, Julia. It'd be for Spike it would be the love, which sounds weird because he was a soulless vampire. Uh, but uh, deep love for, for Drew, big time. Uh, and and uh, man, that other girl a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. nice, but otherwise, nothing. Like, the, the, the part that I brought to the table was all of my darkest parts, which are, which are not funny, and which are not really very fun to hang out with. But there is a spike in me, and I try not to inflict them on the world. And as I've gotten older, I've gotten better about that. But he's right there, and he's very lonely, and he's, you know, I'm, and I'm not lonely anymore, but I mean, like, uh, uh, there was a uh, part of me that wanted to turn my back on the world and give up and just sit in the corner in the darkness and go to mess with, you know, pick up the wall. But if you combine Joss humor's, Joss Whedon's humor with that side of me, then you get the character of Spike. But, but that's yeah, that guy is not uh, not so fun. Yeah. But we still loved him. Yeah, he's yes. great. He's great. 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 All right, thank you, ma'am. Appreciate it. We're gonna go over here. Uh, question 